Come. Now I want everything to go. She's fall down. She said, Lord, I don't know. Sometimes some of you are just I'm anointed. Every feverish in you, I command it to go now, be healed by the power in Jesus' name. She's gone. So, am I making sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A lot of us are not being properly taught about prayer, and that's why we're not getting the kind of result we are supposed to, have to get. Yes, I need results. But I'm praying today that you're going to get results. Till Jesus come, people will see using the God of Abraham. The God of Jacob, the God of Elijah, they will use all those stuff. Yes. But let's look at the New Testament. Yes, sir. In the New Testament, Jesus tell them, if you want to pray, mm, I want to hear Papa. He gave them a complete different pattern. Yes. Let's read from verse from verse five. Some of you, you are still praying the prayer that is in the Old Testament. Help me, Lord. In verse five, he said, and when you pray, you shower not be like what the, the hypocrites, hypocrites. Nice. for they love to pray standing in the synagogues hey. and are on the corners of the street that they may be what seen Same. by men assuredly i say unto you they have, have their, their reward. reward verse six but when you pray mm -hmm. go into your rooms mm -hmm. and when you have one shut your the door, door pray to your father who is in the secret place and your father who sees in the secret will reward you are openly verse 7 and when you pray do not use your vain reputations as what well the hidden do for the thing that they will be what heard for there are many words verse 8 therefore do not be like them for your father know the thing you have need of before you ask him oh, wow. verse 9 now this is how he told them to pray now in the new testament we don't use the god of isaac mm, mm. we don't use the god of elijah mm. we don't use yahweh you don't use that yes sir you use that in different format he said in this manner therefore pray what is our, our father. father so in the new testament he said, if we want to have result, yes, we should approach God as our father. father. Wow. Wow. Nobody in the Old Testament have ever used father. Mm. Never. Mm. Mm. Why? He was not known as our father. father. That means any prayer that you don't use the formula of father, you are in the Old Testament. Oh, wow. Wow. Why? Because God is a father. Amen. So that means if you approach God as a father, your prayer language will be different. Amen. Amen. If you approach God as a father, you are going to pray with, pray with different frequency. Mm. Amen. We cry in prayer. We beg in prayer because we are not approaching God as our father. father. So if God is our father, why is it that we are still struggling? Hey, Papa asks. If God is our father, why is he the devil is he tormenting us? Mm. If God is our father, why are things so difficult mm. for us? The reason why things are difficult because why we don't know where to press the button. So you are not some of you even the way you pray you don't you if i ask you now, can somebody here tell me can you remember the prayer you prayed two weeks ago nobody is in the hand hmm that's serious but can i ask you a question can anybody here remember the conversation you have with your boss or with somebody else can you remember oh, it? oh yes sir talk to why are you looking yes, at me like sir. that you can remember the conversation you have with your boss yeah you will. or with your wife yeah or with your girlfriend yes yes with your daughter and yes. children but you cannot remember the conversation you have with god mm. could you say it's your father so the problem is that 
our approach when it comes to prayer is wrong. Mm. Go to Hebrew chapter 4. Let's start from verse 16. So now, how do I approach the Father or God Almighty as Father? I'm, I tell you what I'll do. I'm just giving you general so that you understand. Have you listened to right? Yes, sir. He says, can we read one, two, everybody? Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So what is the attitude we need here when we're coming before him here as a father? Boldly. 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 Crying? No. no. He said we should come what? Boldly. Boldly. So what should be our approach when it comes to, to God Almighty, the our Father? We should come what? Boldly. Why do we need to come boldly? Because why? he's our, our father. father. They were away thinking that the cry will move heaven. One of my son called me and said, uh, Papa, my shepherd, uh, I, want to, I, want to, I want to go to the mountain and I want to go and afflict myself. I said, must you go to the mountain for your father to hear your prayer? Mm. Mm. It's man, you believe, until he go to the mountain mm. and afflict himself. Mm. I said, and he's a pastor. Mm. He's a pastor. He said, but because things are hard. Things are difficult in Nigeria. Nothing is working. God, I'm suffering. Believing that the more he afflict himself, go to the mountain, that's when you get the answer. But that was until I rebuke him. I said, that is not how. So here the Bible says we should come why? Boldly. No, another word for boldly is what? Confident. You're confident. Say tonight. Tonight. And all the rest of my life. And all the rest of my I'm life. I'm going to approach my father. I'm going to approach my father. With confidence. With confidence. So boldly is another word. Confident. Why? He's your father.